Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial of showing how to add vibrancy to your Swift UI interfaces uh, and also how to work with custom uh, or mapping over a UI kit custom view into the new Swift UI uh, systems. So, we're going to do this uh, through a Swift playground. So, I was going to create a new, uh, we'll just do a new single view. And. Save this off to our desktop. All right, so to start off with, I am going to set this to automatically run. And I'm actually gonna get rid of the built-in view controller. And I'm gonna import Swift UI. So to get things started, we're gonna make a new uh, uh, view. So we'll just call this my view. And this is going to be a view and of our body. Um, some view. We're going to just put in this kind of the boilerplate to get stuff up and running. So this is going to be text. It's going to say my hello world. And that's good enough for that. Now to make this work properly, we're going to need to put this into a hosting container. So this could be a UI hosting controller rather. Uh, and the root view is gonna be a new copy of my view with the right number of parentheses, hopefully. All right, there we go. So everything's up and running, great. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to have a background image. That way we can kind of see something. We're then gonna have um, a layer on top of that where that's gonna have the vibrancy background on it. And then we're gonna have some more content inside of it. So to do that, we're gonna set up a few stacks. Uh, so we have a V stack. And inside of that V stack, we're gonna have a V stack. And inside of that V stack, that's where we'll put in our content. And let's just put a few rows. And let's throw a Maybe a divider in the middle and uh, I don't know, a spacer. Um, so that is our beautiful new user interface. And uh, something's crashed, which keeps things interesting. All right, I am going to pull over an image from Unsplash just to have something to grab onto. And we're just gonna wait for a moment longer for this to finish uh, uh, running. Let's just kick it over and see if it's uh, caught up on something. It, it, oh, live views turned off. That would do it. Okay, so we've got our content kind of all over the place. Um, let's actually get rid of that spacer. It's gonna kind of make things kind of blowy up. -y. All right, so in here, we're gonna wanna set on this outer V stack, uh, we wanna set a background on it. So I'm actually gonna, um, yeah. So on here, we're gonna go dot background and it's going to want a new view, so we're going to use a image as our background view, and it's going to be using a UI image. And the UI image that we're going to use will be this guy right here. And we're going to want to make that be uh, resizable and aspect ratio, we're going to have that uh, fill things. All right. So we've got a background image that's resizable, no fill content that's going to be sitting behind at the kind of the bottom layer. And, um, and then we'll, we'll work on putting here the background image or the back, uh, the vibrancy background that we want to kind of give that 
pop and that sizzle that we're, we're always looking for, right? Okay. Um, There it goes. Okay. So this is particularly not readable because uh, we don't have any background going behind this. But uh, so we're going to want to basically be able to add a custom view here. Now, because we're going to be interfa interfacing with some of the UI kit stuff, uh, what we actually want to do is make just a, a custom control. So we're gonna just going to go into here. Um, we'll call this, I don't know, vibrant C control. Uh, and this is going to be a UI um, view representable. And for this to work, we want to have a function called make UI view. And this is going to spit out the view itself. Um, so for this, we're going to do um, effect is going to be the UI, um, UI blur effect. Uh, the style of this is going to be, let's say, light. And then we're going to return a UI visual effect view with an effect of effect. So that actually creates the view. Now, this gets called, um, this structure is also going to have to be responsible for updating whenever things are need to be changed. So. Uh, we need to do this other function, and for that, we're just going to do nothing. Um, and this wants to know the type uh, of the associated value, um, so this is just going to be a UI view. All right, so now I can hop back up here, and on this V stack, it's background can be a new vibrancy control. If we give that a save, ta-da, we now have that uh, vibrancy effect on here. So uh, what we've done is created this new control, and this is reusable, this can be kind of popped in anywhere you wanted to. Um, and we've added that as the background to the containing stack here. So this takes care of um, making sure that background works uh, and it maps between the UI kit and the Swift UI stuff. So that means you're good to go. All right, hope that this uh, helps uh, for looking at doing vibrancy, spe vibrancy controls specifically, or uh, vibrancy views rather specifically, but also looking at how to use UI kit stuff with some of your Swift UI stuff. All right, take care.